before I begin my tutorials, I would like to show you first the materials that I will be using later. So first is the yarn. It is what we call Indofil yarn, a local brand here in the Philippines. So it's an acrylic one and the weight is 200 grams. Okay, so hindi naman po nauubos itong 200 grams dito sa shorts na gagawin ko. Mara, minsan may natitira siyang less than 100 grams. Okay, so bakit po um, Indofil yarn ang gagamitin ko? Kasi base sa experience ng iba at sa experience ko na rin, mas magaan ang Indofil yarn kapag ka nababasa. Okay, so we also have here a crochet hook. The size is 2.5 um, millimeter. Okay, so bakit 2.5 ang gagamitin ko? You can also make use of 3.5 or 3 millimeter hook. But I prefer this one kasi kapag ginawa ko na siya, mas maganda yung, hindi siya butas-butas. No? Mas maganda yung nagiging outcome, hindi maluwag, sakto lang. It's stretchable but at the same time, not too stretchy. Okay, so another one is the tape measure. Okay. Okay, so ito naman po ay napakahalaga, of course, because you have to measure the um, waistline of the person who will be wearing the shorts or the bikini. And then, you will be using this as well in forming your um, foundation chain. Okay, so you have to make measurements. Next, the stitch marker. Um, this one is used naman na palatandaan para hindi tayo nalilito kung kailan tayo mag increase Okay? Next is, I have here a very small, very tiny, this knitting needle, rather. Okay? So, gagamitin natin to pag magtatay na tayo ng ends. And of course, a pair of scissors. Okay? Um, kung mapapansin ninyo, bakit merong pliers dito? Ginagamit ko talaga ang pliers kasi... There are instances na kapag ka nagtatay na ako ng stitch, ang hirap tanggalin ng um, needle. Ang hirap hilahin ng sakit sa kamay. So, ito yung ginagamit ko pag hihilahin ko na. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so this is the example or the first bikini set I have made which is inspired by the works of um, by the works of PP Crochetish. I'm not sure how it's um, pronounced or called but I saw her tutorial so I was inspired by her works because they're, they are really good Okay, I actually I messaged the owner of this design before I make a tutorial, I asked her permission first Okay, so um, before I begin with the shorts, I would like to show you how I make measurements so, ito yung isa sa mga pinaka essential part ng paggawa ng shorts bakit? Kasi kapag hindi tayo nag-measure ng maayos, kapag sinunod lang natin or kapag sinunod nyo lang yung gagawin kong measurement dito, baka hindi siya kasya dun sa waistline ng magsusuot. Ano po? So, you have to be very careful in measuring the um, size of your um, bikini set. Uh, I mean, bikini bottom or your shorts. Okay, so I have here the list. No. So, this one is... 28 inches, 28 inch waist line. Okay, the size is 28. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito, itong mismong waist, hindi po talaga siya as in 28. Bakit? Kasi po, itong gilid, itong design sa gilid, ayan, ay adjustable. Ibig sabihin, kung wala itong tali, open siya. Ano po? Okay, so ang gagawin natin, yung 28 na waistline ay babawasan natin. So, ang ginawa ko, um, base lang po sa estimation. Ano po? 2 inches ang ibabawas natin para sa side na to at the same time, 2 inches dito. So, yung 28 ko ay naging, oh, yung 28 ko, babawasan ng dalawa, 1, 2, para sa right and then 2 point at uh, 2 um, inches para sa kabila 1 2 okay so yun yung measurement na ginamit ko dito so ang gagawin ko na shorts ay 25 inches okay so this is just an example kasi may first front part at may back part pa siya so magkahiwalay natin gagawin yun 
kagaya nitong isang to. Okay, so ito yung front part na ginagawa ko ngayon. Okay, so the size of this one is 25 inches. Okay, the size of this one, ang magsusuot ay 25 inches. Katulad ng sabi ko dito sa kabila kanina, magbabawas tayo para sa gilid ng tig 2 inches. Okay, so sa 25 inches na waistline, babawas tayo ng 2 inches para sa right dito. Another 2 inches para sa left. Okay, so mayroon tayong natitirang 21. Okay, sa 21 na yon. Kung mapapansin ninyo itong nasa gilid, ito, yung pinaglalagyan nitong tali na to. There are three rows of double crochet and single crochets here. I mean double crochets and half double crochet. No. So, ang sukat nito, ito kasi yung foundation natin. Foundation chain. Pero, humaba siya ng konti kasi may dinagdag tayo na 3 rows. Ano po? Okay, so the size of this measures 0.75. 0.75 as well in this area. So, in all, to add these two, magiging 1.5 na yung dalawang to. Okay? So, 1.5 plus 1.5 on this. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, 3 inches ang babawas natin. Ang sabi ko kanina, Doon sa 25, magbawas tayo ng dalawa para sa gilid. Dalawa rin para sa left. So, may natira tayong 21. Babawas pa po tayo ng 3 inches. 1, 2, 3. Para dito sa gilid na to. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, meron na lang tayong 18 inches. Yung 18 inches, yun yung magiging foundation chain mismo natin. So, para simulan, of course, you have to create a loop. So, paano ba? 1, 2. And then, get the first one. Second one. Okay, so that's how I make my loop. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to create three chains. 1, 2, 3. After creating the three chains, double crochet naman po on the first chain Ayan. two chains and then double crochet and then another two chains and then double crochet on the space One, two, and then double crochet. One, two, double crochet on the space. Okay, so ito yung gagawin niyo hanggang sa ma-reach niyo yung desired size para sa front. Okay, so for me, my desired size is eight inches. Okay, so continue doing this. I'll get back to you when I reach 8 inches. Take note po, um, the sizes of the yarn, uh, the size of your um, shorts may vary according to the use of yarns and um, hook size. So, itong gamit ko ay Indofil Acrylic 4-ply at 2.5. So, if you use different yarn, pwedeng magkaiba ng outcome just like what I did before I tried using DMC so it's much um, thicker compared to the endofill so mas konti yung chain na ginawa ko okay so now we have 8 inches of foundation chain so what I did here is um, you have to make sure that your foundation or the chains are even or odd number not even Okay, so meaning to say, it should be 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, whatever, as long as it, as long as it is odd number. Because um, if it is even number, 
you won't be able to divide this into two with other one remaining for three double crochets kasi po yung yung nasa gitna yun yung magiging um increase ninyo kaya dapat dito for example 10 10 tapos sa gitna merong isa pa okay so meaning to say this one has three chains okay so ang gagawin ko dito 10 um chains and then isa pang, pang 11 and then 12 to 21 ay yung next 10 um chains also okay so the next step is two chains make two chains and then one double crochet for this space okay and then chain one these two chains are considered um a double crochet so here we have two double crochets already plus chain one and then two double crochets on the space chain one another two double crochets and then another two double crochets and chain one along the way until here okay so mamaya na tayo magdi-divide or magi increase so for the meantime we're um, completing the rows for the waist mamaya na yung increase Okay, so I have now the end of my second row. So, ang gagawin natin for the waist, itong part na to, they, uh, we're going to have um, 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rather. So, we're going to have 9 rows. Yung 8 na sinasabi ko kanina ay para dito sa tiga dalawang double crochet. Kasi yung 9 in total ay kasama na dun yung foundation. So 1, the foundation. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so tatapusin nyo to bago tayo magkita ulit para dito sa increase na natin. Okay, okay para po sa third row diba ito yung last for the second row ang gagawin nyo po ay two chains which is considered as double one double crochet bakit two and not uh, three kasi parang feeling ko yung two double crochet at uh, two chains dun siya mas akma sa height ng isang double crochet okay so dito ang gagawin ko ay three chains bakit three kasi Yung two chains ay for double crochet and the other one is for the chain space. Okay? So, I have here three and then one, uh, two double crochets on the space here. One, two. Okay, chain one and then another two double crochets on the space. So, ito pa. Chain 1. Double crochet. Okay, so we're down to our last space here. So, the last um, thing we did, I, I did rather, was to make a chain one. So now I'm going to make two double crochets and then chain one and then double crochet on the second chain here. Double crochet on the second chain here. So you have created a space here. Okay, so you will just do the same thing on the third, uh, on the fourth row. So two chains, two chains, two chains lang po siya kasi lalagyan nyo dito ng one double crochet. So kasi counted na siya as one double crochet. In every uh, chain space, maglalagay po kayo ng dalawang double crochet. So ito counted na siya as one. Kaya isa lang ang ilalagay natin. Two double crochets chain 1 and then 
double crochet okay so all throughout you'll be making two double crochets and one chain until you reach here the last part I'm down to my last chain space so I already did the chain one so now for the last two double crochets here is the four rows of my waistline front front part okay so for the fifth uh, one two three four for the fifth row so you will just do the same thing as what you did here on the third one okay so this is your first row second third and fourth okay so on your fifth you will do exactly as what you did here on the third so I have here two chains another one for the chain space and then two double crochets so now we're done with our ninth row so this is the first row the foundation and then eight of these is equal to nine um, rows so now we will be proceeding to the tenth row wherein we will have our first increase so I told you a while ago that you'll have to create um, an odd number of the foundation chain. Why? Because uh, at the center is where you will be um, increasing. Okay. So in this way, in this um, part, we will be counting already where to put the stitch marks, where to increase. Okay. So let's count. And one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten so we both have ten so here is the stitch marker so this means that we will put three double crochets at the center while um, two double crochets on the other chain spaces so in this chain space we will have three double crochets and these chain spaces are two Okay, why three? Because we will increase. Okay, so what to do now is add is to have two chains. Okay, so one, two, and then these two chains again is considered as double crochet one double crochet so instead of adding two more double crochet we'll only add one because we only already have two here and then instead of single crochet just uh, instead of chain one just like what we did on the previous rows so we will no longer be doing that we will have a double crochet so here in between two double crochets in between those two double crochets is a double crochet so again two double crochets one double crochet two double crochets on the chain space and one double crochet in the in between two double crochets two double crochets one double crochet two double crochets one double crochet two one two one two And then the last two double crochets is one double crochet now we reach the stitch marker so which means 
we will have three double crochets here one two three okay so now we will put the stitch marker again we put three double crochets here so you will add the stitch marker on the second one okay and then proceed and do exactly as what you did a while ago so two double crochets in the chain space and one double crochet in in between two double crochets there you go I'm done with my tenth row so now we'll proceed to the eleventh so again two chains and since this is considered as one double crochet there's no need for you to add additional double crochet here you go to the next double crochet and then just double crochet along the way until you reach the stitch marker where you will put three double crochets for the increase so now I have reached the stitch marker which means I have to increase one two three and then proceed to the next double crochets you can actually remove the stitch marker if you want but you can put it back at the center of the three double crochets on the second one so that you'll rem you will be reminded okay I'm almost done with my 11th row so I left here two double crochets I mean one double crochet and then two chains so I will add two more double crochets here so one double crochet and one last double crochet in the second chain in the two chains here okay one two okay, so on the succeeding rows uh, you'll just have to create one double crochet in each uh, in each double crochet here and then on the stitch marker you'll add three double crochets for the increase and then um, you can have wait I'll count the rows I made um, 20 rows of double crochet on the succeeding rows here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 see you have 20 double crochets okay so now I use 20 rows for this double crochet because the one who will be using this is um, quite bigger okay so it will be worn by um, a woman with a waist of 28 with with a waistline of 28 to 30 so meaning to say she's quite bigger than the one who will wear this one okay so here the waistline of this one is 25 um, inches so meaning to say I could create a number of 18 to 19 rows of double crochet here instead of 20 18 to 19 double crochets instead of 20 because the one who will be wearing this is um, smaller no slimmer okay so just continue doing it and I'll get back to you when I'm done okay so yung 18 inches paano naman natin nahatiin para sa front and back part kasi remember ito pong dalawang to ay magkahiwalay talaga na gagawin. So ngayon, dapat ang front part ng ating shorts ay mas ma mas, mas maiksi kumpara sa back part. Okay, so paano 'yon? Ito yung example. Nagawa ko na siya kanina. 
So, ito yung front. Ito yung back. Ang sukat nito, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina sa tape measure, ay meron tayong 18 inches na natitira. So, ang ginawa ko po, itong front na to, na foundation chain, ay ginawa kong 8 inches. At ito naman ay 10 inches. Okay po. So, bali, mas lamang ito ng 2 inches yung back compared to the front one. Okay. So, by now, dapat ang itsura ng shorts na ninyo, ng front and back part ay ganito. Okay. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, medyo pointy ito. Kasi dito tayo nag-increase. Hindi niya po ninyo kailangan mag-increase dito sa gilid kasi susobrahan naman ng luwag yun. Okay po. Ganito ang itsura niya pag pinagpatong mo. May agwat dito na. May konting space dito. Ganun din sa kabila. So, tapos na po tayo sa front and back part ng ating shorts. So, gagawin naman natin yung nasa gilid. Ito. Iko-connect natin yan using this, flow, uh, using this flower or design. Okay? So, dito po natin ilalagay yan. Ginawa ko na po yung para sa isang side. Isa na lang po ang gagawin natin. By the way, ang ginawa ko po dito na rose ng double crochet ay 19. Okay? So, a while ago, I mentioned that I will be making 18 to 19 rows. So, I decided it would be 19 na lang. Ano po? Okay, so let's begin with the design on the side. Okay? 